This is St. Finbar's Cathedral, which is built on a site of worship dating back 1400 years to early Christian times. St. Finbar is the patron saint of Cork and is regarded as the first bishop of Cork. The present building was designed by the English architect William Burgess and was constructed in the late 1860s. Consecrated in 1870 and the largest spire completed nine years later, the architectural style is early French Gothic and the cathedral is regarded as one of the best examples in Europe of that style. Let's take a look at the beautiful and impressive exterior of the building. It is cruciform in shape, with three spires. It faces west, and if you turn and face the main gate, you can see the Bishop's Palace up the long driveway. The building is constructed of local Cork limestone from the quarries in Ballon Temple, while Batstone and Cork Red Marble from Little Island are used in the interior. Facing the front of the cathedral, the most obvious and beautiful feature is the rose window. Around it are symbols of the four evangelists starting top left and going clockwise. The angel Matthew, the lion Mark, the ox Luke and the eagle John. These were carved on site by C.W. Harrison of Dublin. You can see four magnificent gargoyles above the door portals. Their practical use is for channeling rainwater and they represent the struggle between virtues and vices. They are well worth close inspection. Again, they were carved in situ by local craftsmen. The figures in the portals were carved in London using Ballinasloe limestone. The Twelve Apostles and the Gospel writers are on the outer portals, while the centre doorway features the five wise and the five foolish virgins, while between them is the bridegroom based on a parable Matthew 25 1 to 13. It really is worth taking a little time to look closely at the richly detailed sculptures. If you look above the rose window, you will see a figure of an angel displaying the sacred scriptures. It is the wonderful combination and balance between architecture and sculpture which gives the west front and indeed the whole building its majesty and beauty. It is a really good idea to stroll around the exterior of the cathedral as all parts of the building hold some magic for the viewer. On the southern boundary, you will see a very beautiful carved medieval doorway from one of the earlier churches on this site. When you have finished enjoying the exterior architecture and sculpture, head into the beautiful interior of the cathedral. The first impression on entering the cathedral is that the interior seems smaller than the exterior views would imply. The nave is narrow but very high and soars above you. As you came through the entrance, the gift shop is on your immediate right, with the gallery overhead. Above this is dominated by the great West Rose window, which illustrates the story of creation as told in Genesis. The baptismal font is symbolically placed near the entrance in red, green and white marble. Standing in the nave, the central area, and looking towards the altar area, the pulpit is on the left, showing the four evangelists. The winged dragon below the reading stand is a symbol of evil being driven off by the word of God. On the right hand side of the nave, the walls are lined with red marble from Little Island in Cork Harbour. On the left is of Fermoy Puce, and you can see the coats of arms in memory of past generations. The columns are of bath stone. To the right of the pulpit is the lectern, which is made of solid brass and weighs over 400 kilos. It is decorated with the heads of Moses and David. The central area of seating is known as the choir, and to the right is the beautifully carved bishop's throne. Around the base, 
are carved images of 20 bishops of Cork. The choir is entered from the nave through impressive brass gates, showing foliage, quatrefoils, and a variety of birds. Look for the detailed craftsmanship in the choir stalls, with carvings of animals, birds, insects, and plants. The little chapel, known as the Dean's Chapel, to the right of the throne, has the names of former deans of Cork inscribed in Kilkenny marble. Daily Eucharist services are held in the chapel. Just beyond the chapel is a bronze door, David's door, which shows King David with an Irish harp. This door was originally built as an entrance to a small organ gallery, which was never built. As you continue along the ambulatory or walkway behind the high altar, you can see the stained glass windows depicting the life of Christ. The stained glass throughout the cathedral is rich in colour and depiction and has a consistent style as designed by William Burgess. As you exit the ambulatory through the north transept, you can see the organ, which sits in a 4.2 metre deep pit. It is one of the biggest church organs in Ireland and regarded as the best. Just in front of the altar, there is a beautiful mosaic floor made in Paris by Italian craftsmen using marble from the Pyrenees. Take a seat, enjoy the calm and the colour. Take in the great spaces of the roof above you to the sanctuary ceiling or back to the rose window. Enjoy it.